know, it's truly the song that kind of has changed my life. Hey guys, I'm Ryan Griffin and you're watching Billboard News. Being a part of Kelsey Ballerini's second number one, which was Dibs, I was a co-writer on it, it was very unexpected for me. Boy, I'm calling Dibs on your hand, on your heart. Oh the day that we wrote that song, we weren't even supposed to have written. We wrote it in 45 minutes and it just popped out. And I'll never forget the day she called me and told me that it was gonna be her second single. Um, my wife and I were pretty broke at that time, to be honest, you know, like broke songwriters are a real thing. And she called and told me that it was gonna be the second single and it was just this huge weight off of my shoulders, you know? And, really was the song that helped me stick around Nashville a little bit longer so that I could get that deal and start doing my artist thing. Two, maybe three margaritas. When Salt, Lime, and Tequila came out on TikTok, I knew my dad would like this song because it kind of has that beachy vibe to it. And I threw the phone up and I was like, Pops, listen to this. And he's like, why are you videoing me? What's going on? And I was like, don't worry about it. Just tell me what you, if you like this song. And so I posted it that night and then the next morning, I wake up to my wife running in and saying, Ryan, wake up, wake up. And I look at my phone and it's just going just massively viral. I mean, that's what we've been out touring on. That was my first single to country radio that I've been doing radio tour all year um, across the country. It's the song that definitely has, you know, launched my career and put me in the right direction. Feeling good, like I should. Surfaces actually inspired Salt, Lime, and Tequila, which is the craziest thing. When I sat in the room, the guys asked me, they were like, hey, what do you want to write today? And I said, man, I've just been obsessed with Surfaces. They like take me out of this like stressful whatever I'm in. And I said, you know, I'd love to write something that would do for the country market what Surfaces has done for like the pop and the rest of the, you know, genres. And so we came up with Salt, Lime, and Tequila. Time flies and life is short, so why not have one more with a dash on the rim? Pour it strong, mix it in, when it don't go your way, take it on with a grain of salt. It's been a bumpy road. I mean, I'm on my third record deal. I've been in Nashville for uh, close to 15 years. My sweet wife has been on the journey with me almost the entire time. Music and singing and, and writing and creating has always been a part of who I am. Leave you all alone, waiting by the phone, hoping that it's gonna light up on Friday. Love don't catch you from the back. Last call, cap saying you up in the driveway, calling it late. I listened to everything from John Anderson and Vince Gill and Alan Jackson, George Strait to, you know, Brian McKnight and Casey and Jojo and just like the list goes on and on and on. I fell in love with Brian McKnight. That Anytime record changed the way, you know, I thought about singing, I thought about music. And I'll never forget later on, a couple years down the road, I hear You'll Think of Me, the Keith Urban song, come out. Don't need them, take your space and all your reasons, but you think of and I'm like, man, there's, he did such a beautiful job of like blending this country and R&B together. And that's when I kind of realized, I was like, I need to go to Nashville because I think there's a spot for me there. So there is new music on the way. You know, the last EP was very, my intention behind it was, I want you to turn it on at the beach and just be able, it can be like the, the soundtrack. This one's gonna be a little bit, there's gonna be a little bit more, more depth to it. You know, it's gonna be uh, a little bit more of just kind of where I am in life, which I'm really excited to share.